Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to open up this box, which I don't even know what it is right now. I suspect that it is a dash cam, but let's open it up to find out. So yes, it is my Garmin dash cam. So that's super cool. Garmin dash cam 55. Video control dash cam, 1440p, forward collision and lane departure alerts, red light and speed cameras, peer to smartphone and share video. Sounds too good to be true. GPS to see where and when events occur. Automatic incident detection. That sounds extremely good. So let's open it up and have a look. Okay, so that's a really small camera. If you have a look at my thumb, it's not even longer than my thumb. So it's a very small camera. I can hold it in one hand. There's the thing that sticks to the um, windshield. It's very sticky, very sticky. There is the, there is the USB cable charger there's the car charger put that into your car and that connects to the camera and this is just a USB cable okay so that's all it comes with another thing that sticks to the windscreen I'm guessing user manual safety information I'm guessing so there's a user manual let's see what it says Open it up. Set up. Okay, so I'm gonna give my windshield a bit of a wipe before I stick this on because I don't wanna stick it onto a dirty area. Okay, so after you've made sure that it's dry, I'm now gonna follow the instructions to peel the plastic bit off and stick it onto the windshield. And I'm gonna make sure that this is behind the rear view mirror so that um, so that I don't see it when I'm driving. So I'm peeling it off and stick it on. Stick it on. And then according to the instructions, I have to pull off Pull off the camera, the dash cam. I have to pull it off. Oh, it's off. Okay, so I just pulled off my dash cam, but you can see the strip is still stuck on the car. So according to the instructions, what I need to do now is hold onto it. Press on you, ma. Is press onto the strip as hard as you can. In the, in the center of it, press down on it, and then you're gonna leave it there for 24 hours before you stick your camera back on again. So press onto it as hard as you can, make sure it's stuck there properly, and then we're gonna leave it there for 24 hours. Hey guys, so what we're going to do now is just go through what it looks like when you turn on the device. So I'm assuming that as soon as you hook it up to the car charger, that it'll just start recording. We're just going to turn it on first. And as you can see, it's just got a little USB port and that is the same port for the car charger. Car charger as well as the USB, so they both use the micro SD uh, micro USB port. So let's turn it on by pressing this button. Okay, so it's turned on. Okay, and then you can see the first thing it does is you can select the country. So I'm just going to go up, down. Australia, and this is the enter button. Press enter on that. Do not attempt to adjust this device while driving. Uh, agree. 
camera placement. Not sure if you can see this text, but camera placement, um, center, vehicle height, normal, record audio on. Use the Garmin mobile app to share footage to a mobile. To download the Garmin, go to that address. I'll do that later. Okay, so now it's got the footage. It's not a touch screen. So if I press this, picture saved. So let's go to settings. camera let's see what the voice control does sounds exciting control device with your voice say ok Garmin um, save video take a picture Settings. No, don't disable it. Okay, Garmin. Start travel laps. What's travel laps? Okay, Garmin. Save video. Okay, so let's hook this up to a computer to find out what's really going on. Mm. So I'm now going to plug in the charger after it's been 24 hours, put the charger in. All right. Now I'm going to place the recorder onto the magnetic strip. So we can see it on the mm -hmm. Okay. And as you can see, you can adjust it. So it's facing the front. Mm -hmm. This, that's a bit silly. Hugging like that, like that, okay, so now it's all plugged in and we're going to start the car. Agree. Alright, and let's see if it records. So I'm now going to connect the camera to the computer via USB, so I'm just going to use a normal USB cord. Connect it to the side. So after I have plugged in the USB cord uh, to my Garmin video camera, you can see that two new drives have popped up, the F drive and the G drive. And the G drive, which does not say Garmin, is actually the one with all the videos. So let's go in there. And you can see a DCIM folder, so that's very similar to Android. And you can see all these folders. Okay, and if you go into um, the one that says photo, you'll get the pictures that we took with the camera on uh, before. So they're just static pictures. So I guess if you press the button, um, press the button when it, the camera was on like we did then it takes the pictures so that was the first picture second picture but we don't need these pictures so you can delete them I'm gonna delete them and then you can see the saved video so that's when I held down the button to save the video and it actually saved the video it actually saved the video So that's what save video means. If you want it to save the video and not delete it, then you would press the use the save function. Otherwise, it's just going to keep recording new videos. So these are all the videos that it took. Um, you can see that it creates a new file every minute. So 515, 516, 517. 
Um, so every minute a new file gets generated. And each file, each minute is about 80 megabytes. So just make sure that the SD card that you're putting in the camera is big enough. It comes with an 8 gigabyte um, 8 gigabyte SD card. So if each minute is 81 megabytes, then it can store about 100 minutes, which is a bit less than two hours so make sure you don't drive for that long if you want to keep the footage but um, anyway if you have a look at one of the videos that I've um, filmed while I was driving the cool thing about the footage is that it also not only does it show the date and the time which was already automatically correct without me having to do anything it also shows the latitude longitude and the speed of at which you're driving in miles per hour so later on we're going to talk about um, how to modify that to kilometers per hour if I can find out but otherwise the footage is pretty good and um, I will have to investigate whether I can turn up the resolution to make the number plates more visible but otherwise very happy with the footage for the amount of money that this thing costs and um, yeah so that's it. I will also attach some videos of um, videos recorded by this camera so you can see whether you're happy with the resolution. You can see the number plate here is pretty visible but that's because the car has stopped. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk.